Hello, YouTube. Salivate Metal here. And what you are looking at before your very eyes is a bolt. And that bolt is a stark reminder that at any moment I could just leave and just split before anybody even shows up. So uh, that's why the bolt is here, at least for now. Now I've got to try to figure out a way to bring everything up, up so that uh, I can see who, yes. Silver Slicker 0000, actually just two zeros and a one. This is the first one here. Hey, he says, welcome, Silver Slicker 1. Good to see you. All right. So we do have a viewer. Coin Collector 99 is here, and he's not going to try to sell anything uh, during the chat. Very nice. Salivate, can you interview me? We can talk cats, electrical panels, funky voices, Russian news. Yes, I am Gogi. We can do it right now. Um, uh, I tell you what, send me an email right now to salivatemetal at gmail.com and uh, with the email address to your Google account so that you can come on with me at this very moment. We can do it. And I was kind of hoping that uh, someone would pop in that I had already sent an invite to to do this, but you beat them to the punch, sir. Salivatemetal at gmail.com. And anyone else uh, that wants to enter, to enter, I already have a few uh, that have sent me requests, but I can put you in the queue, so to speak. Oh, dang. Well, I am Gogi has just, I, I caught his bluff. And, uh, and uh, so he can't do it. But anyways, but yeah, yeah. All right. Well, maybe some other time, but send me an email. I, anyway, I'm Gogi. We can catch you on a, at a schedule because I think that would be fun to do for sure. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, Silver Slicker. Yeah, we, the criterion, I need to post an actual official video about this. This is yet to be 18 years or older or else I would. Um, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, yeah, here's Stock Jockey. Very good. He's here. Stock Jockey's here. He's not first, but he's here with an insult. Usually those insults, uh, um, come from Alan Gold, but he has left the planet. I don't know, well, not the planet, but he's left the area. I don't know where he's at. But I have my Salivate Metal mug from Silver Hustlin' 13 in full effect right here at this point in time. Um, and again, oh yeah, B, B Brock is here. Very good. Hello, sir. B Brock, nice to see you. Hey, Notice is here. Notice 17 is, is coming in all the way from Greece. Very good. Wow. Must be the middle of the night there. Um, very good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stop jockey. Yes. Actually, this is a bolt, but you can call it a screw if you'd like. Uh, yeah. I, I have this bolt here just in case I need to leave uh, very quickly. I can just bolt. Let me... Uh, let me show you something else. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. Let's see here. Okay. Um, yes, anyways, back to Greece. We have Notice 17 from Greece. Very nice of him to join us. Or I guess it's a him. But thank you for joining all the same. Dan's Bullion is here. Um Angel Mercado is here and says sexy. All right. Yes, this is a nice coin indeed. This is a this is a reproduction of the 1933 double eagle coin. Very nice. Got it for five bucks. Just thought it was kind of cool. Yep, it's gilded. And it's just a it's it's a um it's not silver or anything like that. But you know, if you want a nice Pretty well, decent quality example of a reproduction of what one would look like proof. This is one. And uh, no numismatic value whatsoever. It's just for fun. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see here. What else is going on? So, yeah. So, I hope everyone's Friday is going well. Although in Greece, it might be Saturday at this point. Who knows? Or close to it. Let's see. But anyways, yeah, no, we've got, got um, some invites out. We will have more special guests 
uh, because we've got some people that um, are in the queue, so to speak, uh, for some interviews and the like, and we're going to do more of those. And yeah, his CCT is in the house. Wow, thank you, CCT, for showing up. Very nice to see you, sir. Very nice indeed. And I know it's late there. It's actually Saturday morning where you're at right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is Saturday there. Manku and Stacker is here. All right. Very nice. We have uh, the old country representing here for sure. Yes, indeed. And uh, if y'all haven't had a chance to see my latest video about the mintage uh, limits for the American Liberty Silver uh, Medal, check it out. It's I, I spoke with Michael White, and he gave some details about it, but left it slightly open-ended, as, uh, as usually the case. Uh, anybody from Sweden, by the way, watching right now? What are the chances? DB's coin hunting is here. All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. Let's see. What else could we show? You know my love for thick pieces of metal. Here is a the old turtle thick yes with some knife norway b brock is from norway all right very good norway pa4 that's right double thickness strong foot it means in a literal sense leon 97 ger is here from germany nice to see you very good welcome back all right Yes, yes, indeed. And there's other uh, pieces here that I've got out uh, <clears throat> that I'm going to do future videos on. So I don't want to show them right now. Hello, Jay, AG456. Good to see you. So, yeah, let's see. 2015 is a year of issue on this piece. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm running out of stuff to show. Well, there's more stuff to show. I'm just holding off uh, for some videos on each of these pieces. There's so much to to show. I don't want to give away the... Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, B. Brock says, Sal, why don't you cast a full silver cylinder? Well, um, this is the, uh, the cylinder. That's pretty full, right? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Actually, I don't have the ability to cast anything. We leave that up to 11, Robert 11, who <clears throat> sent me from a purchase, part of a purchase, this silver ball. It's the silver orb, so to speak. And, uh, yeah. Nice balls. He actually just singular ball there, but yeah. Leon does not like Merkel. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of losing uh, some love for it at the point now too. But yeah, yeah, no females here yet. Stock jockey asking if uh, this is a sausage party. Let's see here. Silver vessel is in uh, is here as well. Thank you, Silver vessel. Very nice to see you. All right. Let's see here. Very good. Yep, and by the way, um, I apologize. Some people have been uh, telling me, hey, send out a notification the next time you do a video uh, or one of these live feeds, but they're always so impromptu, and, and I kind of don't like to um, uh, commit sometimes. For some reason, something comes up, and I can't be here and disappoint you all, or if I need to just bolt uh, very quickly, I can just do so without warning or not even come in at all but uh yeah but i'm gonna i'm not gonna leave yet i just was saying you know hey numa stacker's here hello numa stacker i didn't see i didn't get a chance for a chance to respond but numa stacker was first on my last the video i just posted minutes before coming online here 
So that was uh, very nice of him to uh, do that, to post first. And he is, the United Kingdom is really representing strong here. And it is late at night. And the United Kingdom is just, I mean, you guys are just really, really um, pushing it, pushing it real good. Yeah. Very, very nice. Numa Stacker beat Stock Jockey for once to being first. So, yeah. Well, let's see here. Now that I'm, I'm gaining a small audience here, I need to... I need to get my wits about me and, and try to find a topic to discuss. Oh, let's discuss silver and gold prices and why the hay bale did they go up? Well, I'm going to give you my theories and then uh, let's see if, uh, if, it, if it matches with what you guys think as my coffee gets colder. Um, the, the Fed chairwoman, Janet Yellen, who speaks rather softly, uh, go figure, um, has said that there might be two rate heights this year. But just like Michael White from the United States Mint did not uh, have left some room for them not to raise up in price or not to raise. So what does that mean? Well, um, that means that it's not, they're not sure what's going to happen um, with the interest rates. No one's committing to it, whether or not, that, that, in other words, they're not saying it's for sure or anything like that. I think what they're trying to do is just put it out there to give some confidence to the um, economy, even though the GDP uh, was not the... Uh, Gross domestic, product, gross domestic product numbers were not as high as they thought. I think it's to 1.1. So when it's all said and done, Ikeo Net says it all. Um, the Fed is full of crap. And answering another question that Ikeo Net um, had asked, and hello, Ikeo Net, um, what am I eating? Well, in, in doing my last video, I already snacked on some cheese puffs from the bag, and I will show those as evidence here. Cheese doodles. It was a wise decision for me to get into these, so I did that. And you can see the bag is empty, so there it is. So, all right, very good. Um, coin Collector 99 ask about platinum. Um, and it's a good question. Do you think the price per ounce could rise soon here in the future? You know, I don't know. Um, some people are saying that platinum it could go down even more, even if gold and silver goes up. And I think that's probably due to its, um, you know, its demand in the industry. Because I see platinum more as an industrial metal um, than a uh, precious. I mean, it is a precious metal, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's it's. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. Historically, platinum has been um, traded higher than gold. But over the past few years here, it's been uh, at the same price or, or lower. So, yeah. Hello, Luis Reyes. Catching some celebrate before heading to work. Very nice of you. Very good. Half Dollar One is here. Hello, YouTube. Happy is in the house. And uh, yeah, and I am Gogi says, yeah, if you do apply platinum, you're supporting Putin because most of the platinum is mined in the eastern part of uh, the Russian Republic. I think in Siberia and the like. Half dollars in the halfway house. Yeah, this is the halfway house for sure. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see here. Now, let's see what other, uh, so yeah, so anyways, it's, uh, so that's where, that's where the precious metal prices are as to what they do next week. It's anybody's guess. Um, I believe they will do something either rise, fall or stay the same. And I stand by that, by the way, even though I'm sitting down. I stand by that prediction that they will either rise, fall, 
or remain the same. Let's see here. I am Gogi. If I buy silver and gold eagles, am I supporting Obama? Hey, good question. Silver Slicker 001 is starting a war. Trump or Hillary? I'll let you guys discuss that in the comment section there. But uh, I'm trying to get this other silver piece to stand on edge. That's my main concern at this point. I'll just put it right here. You can kind of see the thickness of that one. All right. Very good. Silver Pirate is here. Very good. All right. Silver Pirate's buying eagles. Dan's Boyan is at first time, the Green Party candidate. Tears for Fears. All right. Yeah. Mad world it is. Everybody wants to rule that world. That's for sure. All right, 667 Hodge is here. He's one tick above evil with his name there, 667 Hodge. Let's see, okay. Yeah, and uh, you know, the whole Brexit deal, everybody thought that it was going to just, uh, you know, crush the economy. And actually, everything... Uh, Everything is a little is okay in in the UK right now. It, well, with all things being said, um, even though you know, really, the Brexit won't occur for another two years, or the final exit won't occur for another two years. Yep, yep. I've aged myself. Uh, Moroccan silver stacker doesn't think Brexit will happen. Yeah, some people are saying that. Uh, you know, it'll just be a uh, more symbolic and that they will try to find a way to keep the tentacles of the EU entrenched in London. But, you know, we shall see. Strife Survival says that Glad Silver went down to buy a little bit more. Yeah, I am too. But I did go up a little bit today. Hey, take care, Jay. Keep stacking. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Have a great time um, going into work, working the night shift. Press one if you think Hillary's at home sleeping right now. I just pressed one. Hello, Haas. What's up? What do you think of the Lord Rothschild's comment? This is the greatest experiment in monetary policy in the history of the world. You know, I'm not sure the exact context of it, but um, I'm assuming he's talking about a central bank pumping, and uh, which it's never been done in this grand of scale for, uh, you know, the Japanese have done it a lot in the United States, and many other central banks are doing this, and it really is an experiment, but I think it's about to fail um, sooner or later because all that money is going to come back all that currency is going to come back to bite um, when it uh, starts circulating again. All right, I am Gogi. Take care. Garbage does not remove itself. Send me that email. We'll get you in as a guest. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how things play out in the markets indeed for sure. And, of course, there's also the geopolitical aspects. They're predicting uh, the gas prices will stay low. But, you know, as soon as people made predictions about silver and gold dropping, they raise up a little bit. And same thing with gas prices. They've raised up a bit, too. So, yeah. So I think it'll be quite interesting to see where things head out from here till the end of the year, especially. So, yeah, very, very good. <clears throat> Afternoon, A.G. Ender, good to see you. Oh, is it uh, Notice 17's birthday? 
I must have missed that. Happy birthday, if, it's, if that's indeed the case. Metal Man Joe 59 says that if Trump wins the election, silver is going to skyrocket. I assume that, that gold as well will. Stripe Survival says he's trying to figure out what to put my worthless cash into assets, PM and such, getting emergency food stocks up. Yeah. Very good. I think that's a good point. That's a good, you know, diversify. But, um, yeah, I think so. I think it's good to put it into hard assets of some sort, emergency food stocks, ammo, guns, if you don't have a gun. And silver, of course, a little bit of gold. Water and silver first. Water and food first. Load up on food. What kind of food are you getting? Are you getting those um, this 25-year shelf life packs? Or how are you all getting the food? It's food storage. How are you storing food? And then the next question is, how do you store water? I saw um, an old YouTuber who doesn't post anymore named Heavenly Prepper actually had a system where he uh, um, had um, stored water and it would it would circulate and keep keep clean. But it's quite a complex system he had there, but he did very well. Three Lou says, "Show us your gold." Well, <clears throat> um, I don't have any gold handy right now, but. Sometime I may show some gold. I've got some other gold pieces coming in. I'll do videos on in the future. Very nice. So half dollar might invest in a some real estate there. Very nice. Twinkies is a good bet. Fifty-five cows on one hundred twenty-nine acres is a good bet too. Farming. So, yeah, very, very good. Put the nearest gold around you on screen. Well, for some reason my my screen went out. Oh, there it's back. I don't know what happened to the internet connection. Well, 3 Lou, again, I don't have any gold near me. I'd have to travel some distance to pull it out. But I do have the next best thing, 3 Louie. Right on the screen, there it is. Look at that. Can you see that? It's got this almost exact same density as gold. What is it? Tell me what that is. Tell me what it is. Three Louis. I think it's pronounced Louis. Same density as gold. Uh oh, Silver Mountain's kids are sucking up the Wi Fi. So he's got no audio, which means he can't hear me. Cash velocity is going to go wild if Trump wins. Trump is a hard asset person. Half dollar guesses. Everybody guesses. UTEP 007 guesses. Um, let's see here. Yep, yes, tungsten. That's right, tungsten. And it's not tungsten carbide. It's just regular tungsten. Titanium is a very light metal, by the way. Now, lead is a dense metal. Mancunian stacker, but I think that this is denser than lead, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. I'll have to look that up. I'm curious to see too, but lead is a very soft. This is a very hard metal. B. Brock says the correct German name for it is Wolfram, and the atomic symbol for it is W. I can't believe this silver piece rolled and fell over. Let's see here. Oh, Pit Bullion's here. Hello, Pit Bullion. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Three Louis says, get some gold. We'll wait for you to grab it. All right. Let me, if everybody will hold on, raise your hand if you will hold on for me to go grab a little bit of gold. I've got to see a majority of people raising their hand for me to go get some gold. And I will attempt to get what little I have right here in my possession to show you. I have one thumbs up. I guess that's like a raised hand. 
Okay, there we go. There's there's a raise hand symbol. We need need a few more before I do it, so I don't waste people's time waiting for me to get gold because I've already lost two viewers just from that request. Let's see here. You can't vote twice, by the way. Less than one minute wait. Oh boy, I don't know. I'll try. Okay, that's enough of you. Keep doing it, but I'm gonna try to get some gold here. Hold on. Are you all still there? Let me know if you're still there. I'm still looking for gold. Did you hear that? Did y'all hear that? Did I scare you? How many people did I scare when I just said I'm back? Raise your hand if I scared you when I yelled like that. Yeah, here we go. We got Pit Bullion. It woke him up. Very good. Very good. All right. That scared some people. That's good. Oh, Rocky32189. Hey, which Rocky? I've never seen that person before. Is this Rocky's other account? I'm trying to get him in an interview too, by the way. Rocky, uh, the other Rocky, the old Rocky. Let's see here. I gained five views because I'm going to show some gold. All right. Let me tell you. I'm going to show two pieces of gold here. I'm going to clear all this stuff out of the way. See this stuff right here? I'm going to clear it out for the gold. And it's not much, but, you know, it's. Uh, let me find a way to properly put this some of this stuff back here. Just bear with me for um, a, a a length of time here. I won't even say a second because I want I don't want a I don't want to um, commit myself to a certain time. But bear with me for a for a few here. I've got to put this stuff properly back in its place. Eleven Robert Eleven Silver Ball. I've got to be very careful with because I don't want to scratch it. All right, here we go. Um, I'm the real Rocket. The other one is an imposter. How old are you, Rocky? Oh, is this Rocky the Republican from New Jersey? Are you a Republican or Democrat? Because that's going to tell which one's the real Rocky. I'll, once he answers that, I'll show the gold. Once Rocky answers that question, here we go. Yo, Adrian. Not that Rocky. Not Rocky Balboa. The prize fighter. All right, I he must have split or something or or something of the sort. I'm not sure what the delay is, but I'll go ahead and show. So here, here's the piece that I knew that I had. And in looking, I uh, found another piece, which I think you all will be pleasantly surprised to see. So here we go. Here's the first piece. This is a silver proof year 2000, 2005, 10th ounce gold coin. Very, very nice. Wonderfully struck, beautifully struck indeed, yes. Very, very nice, there it is. So let's look at the reverse of the piece. Here is the reverse. Let me, let me shed a little light on the subject here. It might glare up a little bit, but I'll try my best to um, negate that.
There we go. There we go. All right. There it is. See that? It's a family of eagles. I actually don't like this reverse, really. The light, it burns. The light burns. Let's see here. Hey, JWKA2001 just uh, made the, uh, the, the rallying cry to uh, blacks to vote for Trump. And he's right. That's exactly the line that was used. And it says it all. Let's see here. Yeah, this is 10th ounce. Yeah, the size. And uh, I got this for near spot. And so, sorry for the dirt under my fingernails. I've been working. There we go. All right. So there's this coin. See that? And Silver Pirate has the uh, the uh, tenth for the wife bought it for my fiftieth. Oh, okay. Oh, the wife bought it for you on your fiftieth. Very nice. That's a great birthday present for sure. Congratulations! Happy fiftieth birthday. Addicted to stacks, do you ever plan to sell your coins? Well, never say never, but right now I don't plan. I just like to enjoy. Oh, okay, uh, CCT, can you stick around just one second if, um, before you wash dishes here? I'll show the uh, the other gold coin. Um, it is the one I forgot I had laying around here. Actually, it's not laying around, but I was going to put it in deep storage, but I forgot I had this one since we're talking about the uh, gold, the gold one or the silver one. Here is the gold one, a certificate of authenticity. So I'm going to do a video on it. Here is the actual high relief gold one ounce coin. There you go. Very nice. So there it is. Uh, it may fit in a dishwasher CCT, possibly, but I wouldn't recommend it. I know you didn't ask if you could put it in your dishwasher, but but just but the thing is, now that you're gonna be doing dishes before you head off to bed, CCT, you're gonna be thinking to yourself, wow, I wonder if a dishwasher can really clean gold. Let's take a look at the reverse of the piece, which is by far the better side, in my opinion. And I do wish that the um, the United States Mint would have produced the silver in um, I wish it would have produced the silver in high relief form as well. That would have been very nice. And I wish it would have done this in proof. That would have been nice. The gold in proof. Yep. I'm still waiting on my uh, silver as well. Oops. OTEP, UTEP 007. And I wonder if the dishwasher can clean milk spots. Yeah, that's a good good question. I don't can know. Worth a shot, right? Just put all your put your whole stack in the dishwasher and just let it run. And... All right, half dollar has to uh, change his um, change his depends. I think apparently from what I'm reading here on the side here. So we will await for him to return as he does that. Yeah, hey, try it out. Try, you know, it's worth a shot. That might be the one way uh, to anneal and to clean. And, you know, try it. Maybe you don't get rid of them. One never can knows. Yes, gold maples have the security feature Strive Survival. In fact, the new one gram maples, by the way, have the radio lines. And here you can, this isn't the best camera in the world. If I can get close, you can kind of see the dye polish marks, which uh, it doesn't look like it's going to focus. Yes, Silver Mountain, they are very pure and soft using four nines fine gold. If you breathe on them, they could scratch. Yes. Yes, indeed. Doesn't look like this is going to focus any closer. Let's see if I get it. Is it focusing now? Oh, look at how blurry it is. 
But you like it blurry, don't you? You like it blurry. Yes, you do. Look at the blurriness. All right. Here's where, there's where the focus is. Let me just see. Maybe if we ease into it, it will focus as we zoom in. You just have to be gentle with it, with the camera, I think. Three Louis is attempting to grade this coin. Sight scene. It would be MS, not SP. I don't think a special finish. Uh, but I think it just depends on which grading company does it. Silver Mountain likes touching his gold. No off-color jokes. He prefers American Gold Eagles. Yes, they are stronger for sure. Hello, Jay Cricket 1710. The balance of copper and silver makes the Eagles a stronger uh, metal to hold. Same thing with the um, Krugerrands. <clears throat> and Silver Pirate makes a makes an excellent point about silver. Uh, because milk spots don't occur on base metal. So if you see silver spots in your some milk spots in your coins, then you know they're legit. And they're too legit to quit. Oh, focus. Hey, that worked. Hey, B Brock, you are the man. I just said focus, and it focused. Focus. Focus, you. <laughs> Let me try it again. Focus. I'm trying to get closer. Focus. You better focus or I'm going to beat your silly head in. Maybe if I say focus, please. Focus, please. I'm too close. Focus. Focus. I'm having fun with this focus thing. You know, anyways, let's see here. All right. 100% gold and silver. Hello. How are you doing? Very good to see you. They, they pour silver uh, as well. 100% gold and silver. And does it with a, um, gives a special laminate or not a it's a plexiglass coa with each one which is very nice either clear and or opaque so yeah metal madness is here yes uh spilt milk spots are caused by the cleaning material some say it's the cleaning material that 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 is not completely rinsed off during the annealing process yeah hello notice 17 am i one of the x-men Logan, they call me. Yeah, the Wolverine. Hey, I didn't say focus that time, and it focused. Um, Haw says, I purchased a 100-gram gold bar for a few months ago, but now I hear everyone talking about gold coins. Was a 100-gram piece a good buy? Um, I'm kind of new to PMs. Nine and a half months are trying to track my mistakes. <laughs> no, that was a good purchase for bullion. Um, some people prefer the coins. I think the co the gold coins themselves are probably less likely, uh, they're more scrutinized for fakes and the like, whereas a 100-gram gold bar, it's just right at that size where, where uh, unless you have an assay or a way to really test it, um, there's a chance. I have a 100-gram gold bar as well. If yours is an assay card, it's probably fine. But don't be totally sure, but yeah. But usually coins, government-issued coins, are typically more recognizable and more accepted. All right, CCT, enjoy washing your dishes. Oh, you're going to wash them by hand now. You're not going to use the dishwasher. Okay, well, think about gold and silver as you do so. And you have some awesome new coin slides with different woods and the like. Very, very nice. Kind of makes me wish I would have waited to get because I like those exotic woods. But mine still smells great. And uh, here it is. And just so you know, people, when you get a silver slide um, and you've had it for a while, you can still smell the goodness of the hand 
crafted wood right in here. This is where you're going to uh, maintain your... Mm, it smells really nice in the armpit of the coin slide. Very, very nice. All right. <clears throat> now, I could have tricked three Louis um, and said and showed a close up of this and said, This is my gold coin, but that would have been dirty pool because that's just a picture of a gold coin. Let's see what Silver Mountain said. We'll all be washing our dishes by hand after the EMP attack. Ah, that's very good. That's a good point. We very well may be. Uh, Doing that after the EMP attack. Electromagnetic pulse is what he's referring to there. Very nice. Let's see here. Wife gets EMP once a month. I think he's got that confused with um, something else, but I'll leave it at that. All right, take care. 100% gold and silver. Yeah, check it out later. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Have a good night at work. Everybody's going to work. It's nighttime, people. Yeah, Metal Madness said it. I didn't want to say it. Let's see. Okay. Jared C. is here. And if I've, if you all have talked and I've not, um, responded, not, without seeing you, I apologize. Hello, Platinum Skies. Red Beam 58's here. Countryman's here. Prep now, party later. Western style ribs on sale, canning soon. <clears throat> Let's see here. I live on the Eastern Time Zone, 3 Louis. Let's see here. Ikeo Net is still here. 41 viewers. Let's see. Okay, very good. I think it's because I whipped out the gold. Very nice. Yeah, and it's a, it's 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 something. I I do wish the U.S. Mint would have made those medals and proof, the silver medals and proof, and they would have made them a uh, high relief. What is the name? Is a premium purchase? Uh, Silver Stacker One is asking about this coin. This is the American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin released last year. The complement to it is the silver medal released um, a couple days ago and selling out at a record in record time. And uh, so this is the gold, and it is going for a premium, but I'm not sure what the premium is now. Yeah. So this is the coin. Platinum Skies, this is the coin. Let's see. It's also the highest denominated gold coin the U.S. Mint has ever produced, by the way. Yes, it is very stunning and the like. Thank you, Silver Mountain. Nice coin. Very good. Greece Vegan. Okay, yeah, no, this is from Greece. All right, let's see here. Everybody's trying to kick out the vegan silver stacker, but he's still sticking around. All right. <clears throat> the UK no longer exists, apparently, Jared C. says. Let's see. Oh, good question by 3 Louie, and everybody else can answer this as well. My oldest proof set, you know, I think my oldest proof set is probably um, 1960. They get pretty expensive below that time, and I don't really collect proof sets other than just the uh, the state quarters, the ones that are in the state quarters and a handful of others. But, you know, you can get them as far back as I think 36 was the first year they did them uh, for sale in the public, and they're very expensive to get those. Shia Design is here. Hello. I think that's the first time I've seen you. Good to see you. Curdy Cakes is here. Very, very nice. Cool. Yeah, the 1936 goes for a thousand. That doesn't surprise me that it goes for a thousand bucks. 
I have seen a 1942 proof set. Maybe even filmed it, just forgot to um, post it. Take care, Silver Mountain. Enjoy the kids. Thank you for swinging by and stopping by at the same time. Very much appreciated. Indeed. I've got to try to find a way to display this so it doesn't uh, glare up so much. Let me see if I can elevate it to a higher level of... Something fell and I don't know what it was. Something fell on the floor, people. And I've got to pick it up. Because if I don't pick it up now, I'll forget to pick it up later. We can't have that. Let me see if I can get this a little closer. Why is that magnetic? Something is... We don't want to do... I don't want to do it on that. Can I do it on this? Can I do it on this? Get it up a little bit higher. Just slightly. Put it in here. That does it even better. I'm just going to let it sit there. Okay, okay, let's see here. Um, all right, here comes a question from Mancunian Stacker. Question, Sal. What is your lowest mintage, rarest coin, or most valuable? Focus. I'm seeing if this focus thing can work for this camera first. Focus. I think I was fooled about that. There we go. All right. My lowest mintage, most valuable, rarest coin. I think it's probably going to be the 2012 Ultra High Relief Gold Dragon 1 ounce coin. And uh, <clears throat> I, the unboxing video for that is on YouTube. And I think I'm the only one to show that coin. Um, in fact, I may have been the first one to show that coin on YouTube. But the other thing is, is I think I'm the only one with it in its original packaging, the box and everything. And uh, so you can see that unboxing video on YouTube on my, on my YouTube channel. But also, I may do another video, a redux, showing that coin. It has a mintage of 388, by the way. Curdy Cakes asks, what will you do with your medals when the government orders us to turn them in? I will keep them. Um, B. Brock says, Sal, what was your first silver gold purchase as investment? Well, i got to correct you a little bit there, B. Brock. Silver and gold is not an investment. It is merely a hedge um, against uh, economic instability. I don't want to say inflation because there can be deflation as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, it is a Johnson Mafe one ounce silver bar. And I think I've shown that in a previous video too, but I may show it again. Uh, let's see, some good questions here. Let me see if I've missed some up above before I get. Oh, does Fluffy Kitty stack? She a design ask. Uh, yes. The, the Soft Teak and Cuddly Kitty part one stacks pounds uh, on the body of the furry creature so that um, it is very fat. The Soft Teak and Cuddly Kitty Part 2, the sequel, stacks mm, length, because that's a long kitty. Other than that, they just admire the silver. They don't collect any of it. Vegan Silver Stacker just thought of the movie Airplane. Uh, let me go back up here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's see. Silver Pirate says, I hope you're not air traffic control 100% watching at work. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. That was to remind you of airplane. Picked a bad time to stop smoking crack. All right, let's see here. Now on to the other questions below. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Sal, what age did you become interested in sound money? That's a good question. I was probably in my early teens, maybe 13, 12 Probably when I got interested in it. Okay. Moroccan Silver Stacker says, I think Sal has a shotgun behind the door. So if the government comes to take us gold, they're in for a nice surprise. Not only that, but one in every room of the house as well. Let's see here. Put a mercury on the screen. 
Uh, okay. Just for a minute. There's a mercury on the screen in the bag. That's a dime bag, by the way. Just for those that were wondering, that is a dime bag. Uh, Jared C. is going to start purchasing titanium as a counter to gold and silver. Yeah, hey, hey, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, titanium is going to go through the roof. And the only way it's going to go through the roof is if you shoot it out of a cannon. Coin Collector 99 asks, what coins are worth getting graded? Uh, <clears throat> well, I think older coins are really the only ones really worth getting graded are older coins, not the modern stuff. Even some of the 70s sometimes don't carry their premiums. Um, and I'm not a big fan of modern coin grading. Shia Design, is it safe to read Zero Hedge every day? Sure, but I don't believe everything I read on Zero Hedge or otherwise or everywhere. What year is the Merck? I think it's in 1945, the last year of issue. Yeah, my 3D view is exactly right. It's not a precious metal. My 3D views, yes, I have platinum and palladium. Check out, um, do a search on my video page for platinum and palladium, and you will find some. And that will show more as well. But yes, I do have both. And I've got another piece that I'm going to be doing um, um, in the future as well. My cat, Matt Langstrat. Langstrat says, my cat loves silver too. Is it true that your cat scratched a gold piece rubbing up against? I don't remember if I may have joked about it in a video, but I'm not sure. Metal Madness asks, what are your thoughts on copper coins and bars? Well, here is a copper little round. Here is another copper round. And uh, they're way overpriced, but they're fun to have for the designs and like at only about a dollar a piece for an ounce, an ABDP ounce. They're measured in, in Avidoporous ounces, not in Troy ounces like silver. But they're fun to have, but they're not worth really much of anything. <clears throat> Back in 2010 and 11, when uh, copper went skyrocketed through the roof and people were stealing copper tubing from construction sites and the like, you know, it really wasn't worth them doing that. It, it may have increased, you know, for, for going like 3 and $4 a pound, you get a couple of, of lengths of copper tubing. You're not going to really get a lot of money for that. And uh, if you buy the, um, the copper bullion that's out there that was started in around that same time from 2008 and the like, you know, you're, you're paying so much way over spot price for it. It's not worth to have other than just for the fun of it and believe you me i have a lot of it for fun i bought these cop and i'll do a video on it but just know what you're getting into so yeah bozo says get some lead before the epa bans it all right hey i might lick it too before they tell me it's bad for me Mancunian, Mancunian Stacker says the copper one pennies and two pennies are worth more for the metal than the actual currency in the UK, if that makes sense. Yeah, and there was a time in the United States when the, uh, the Lincoln cent uh, was worth, you know, more than twice its weight. Um, it was, you know, there's about two cents of uh, one point some odd cents of copper in a cent. And people were stacking those away and the like, but that didn't last too long. And it just, and the space and the storage isn't worth holding so much of it for that kind of purpose. You're better off just getting silver it's for that purpose. But if you like the look of it and you want to collect it for fun, there's nothing wrong with that. I have some. I've even poured a silver uh, copper bar, like this one right here, which I may have filmed a video for let's see so
silver common coin. Your thoughts on the Liberty Medals, get them great or leave them original? I'm leaving mine original. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan at all, actually, of modern coin grading. Nothing wrong with authenticating, but I just think modern coin grading all around is, a, is not for me. And I'm not saying it shouldn't be for you. Um, but by the time you spend the money, let's say you get, let's say you got all four and you sent them into NGC or PCGS and you have a better chance of getting 70s with NGC and uh, one of them comes back a 70 and the rest are 69s, the money you've spent in shipping them and getting the others graded, you've either broken even or, or lost a little bit for that 70. It's kind of a, it's kind of a risk. Um, Bozo asked a good question. Sal, what do you think your poured silver bar will bring on eBay? Well, let's see here. I think that the poured silver bar will bring joy to whoever purchases it. How is that for a political answer, my friend, for dodging the question and uh, completely answering it in such a way without actually giving an answer? Did you like that? And for those who don't know, check out uh, the video I posted about the Celebrate Metal Bar going on eBay. And there's a link there and you can see it. Got five odd, some five some odd days left. Any thoughts on the quarter ounce Queen's Beast coin, gold coin? I hear, and I didn't get a chance to comment on Silver Siren's uh, Google Plus post, uh, but uh, yes. The, 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 for a time, they were thinking they're going to be hard to come by here in the States, but just like the two ounce Queen's Beast, the quarter ounce golds are starting to make their way here to the U.S. So, um, you know, I don't know. If they, if they, they come close to spot, I may get one, but I'm not really all that worried. I don't want to commit myself to another 10 year series. And who knows if the Queen is going to be around in 10 years anyway. Although I understand there might be some King's Beast too. Three Louis asks, are you Republican? No, I consider myself a, a constitutional conservative. Let's see. <clears throat> Vegan Silver Stacker says, I just heard that Jill Stein and Gary Johnson are actually beating Hillary out in the honest polls. Who wouldn't? I'll be honest with you, <clears throat> I think if um, for those of you that have more of a um, of of a um, uh, democratic or liberal leaning, I think if um, Bernie Sanders was your nominee, he would be probably crushing Donald Trump at this point <clears throat> because uh, you know there's no scandal in amidst um, Bernie Sanders like there is Hillary. Metal Madness says that Hillary is tuning in from her home server, the one that's in the bathroom. That's right. Hey, take care, Ikeo Net. Good to see you. Bozo says you might like the Libertarian Party. Well, <clears throat> Gary Johnson has proven himself to be a little bit more socialist than 78% uh, more in common with Bernie Sanders than he is, you know, I mean, what happened to Libertarian representing small government? Let's see here. Three Louis is a person who sells coins a coin dealer. Well, <clears throat> I don't know where the technical term would come from um, as far as what makes a coin dealer. If somebody sells two coins on eBay, in one year and not the next year, does that make them a coin dealer? I don't know what the criteria is for that. Ikeo decided to stick around. Thank you, sir. Um, Nigel Farage turned up at the Trump rally. I did read about that, but I didn't see it. NGC for world coins and PCGS for US. Okay, yeah. Haas says PMs are no longer pegged as pegged to money. So how can the government confiscate? Well, 
that's a good point. But in my mind, the government, as far as cash, you know, what little I have in my pocket, let me show you this piece of cash in my pocket. This is a piece of cash right here. Look at this. This is what I have in my name right now. This is a $5 bill. <clears throat> and it is in my possession. This is a, simply a piece of paper. Now, they could devalue this, but they cannot come and confiscate it unless it's from my cold, dead hands, as a uh, Charlton Heston once said. I mean, they can't no more confiscate that dollar bill, that $5 bill, than they can this guitar pick. Because it is an item and it is in my possession. It's cotton and linen. And it is in my possession. I am rich. That's right. It's dead. That's right. It is uh, this note. It's public. It's legal tender for all debts, public and private. And in itself is debt, right? Look at that. The Federal Reserve System. Look at that. Doesn't that scare you to see that? Oh, I didn't realize that about uh, Nigel Farage almost dying in a helicopter crash, Mancunian. I always thought your name was Mancurian, but it's Mancunian. <clears throat> Coin Collector 99 asks, do I collect any paper money? Yes, I do. I may show that sometime. And I've shown this in a previous video, but I'll show this in another video. I'll show it in this video now. This is one piece I collect, the $100 trillion note. I keep that with me to remind me that uh, fiat can go by the way of the, uh, of the um, dodo bird, so to speak, if it's devalued. In your lifetime, how high do you think gold and silver will go? Silver by the odds. Says so that's a good question. Boy, that's a, the sky's the limit there because it's, it's, I tell you what, in this day and age, you never know what could happen. Everybody's worst nightmare from all the pumpers out there that say silver's going to go to to a $500 an ounce or, or whatever, um, that, you know, it could be, it could be anything. And, and it would, you know, you could see a scenario where that could happen or where gold could go to $5,000 an ounce. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Shoot, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing here. Okay. And I'm starting to lose viewers. I think I've probably worn out my welcome here. Uh, so I'm probably going to end this thing here. Let me see if anybody has comment on my... Has anybody commented on my other video about the um, American Liberty Silver Medal, the final words on minage limit? Anybody that's in this video, have you commented on that video? I'm just curious. Let's see here. I take care of Cricket. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to head out here. I've got to put all this stuff away. And... Uh, I appreciate everyone stopping by, though. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. This has been a great, great, uh, great time. I'm hoping to get – I've got my feelers out for some um, special guests coming up. So stay tuned for that, you know? You know what I mean? So I'm going to put – I'm going to put this thing away now. We're done with that, sucker. Hey, Belange P, I was just about to bolt out. You know what I'm saying, homie? Hey, by the way, uh, Blanche P., I did reach out to Rocky. I'm hoping he will uh, accept my invitation to swing by here. But look, gold, your favorite gold-type coin. This is the American Eagle that you like. Um, Vegan Silver Stacker says, what is the most likely time... You will go live Eastern time. Um, 
it's anybody's guess. It's just kind of random, but usually Fridays at about um, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but I sometimes it's random. I, I, I need to, if, if I know I'm going to, um, if I know I'm definitely going to be here, I will try to do a, an invite and I mean a, an event invitation that comes across your, your new, your light, your feed, your news feed or whatever. And then you can be here when I'm here. So yeah, but in the meantime, stay tuned. I hope to get some more guests in. And uh, I've got it. Like I said, I have some feelers out. Rocky, maybe one, um, and who knows who else? We shall be. We shall see. All right. Well, you all have a great evening and a great weekend. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching, and encourage you to keep watching even after even after I'm done signing off. Take care. <laughs>